Welcome to Amazon Seller Brand Stories. I'm gonna be your host today, Seth Stevens, here with my co-host, Sean Hart. <clears throat> we bring you guys the behind the scenes stories of real people building real brands. And, and a lot of times they're bringing those uh, brands to market through the Amazon platform. Now, um, we love to bring people that are building businesses and uh, creating things out there in the world that aren't just only to make a quick buck and are actually caring about their customers. So that's what, who we have today. Super excited to have Leonard and Bill. Sean, let's uh, jump into this interview with these guys. Yeah, definitely. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we're gonna get to know you um, in, in a great way here real soon, along with your brand, uh, Silas Lake, uh, which I know kind of has a funny story we were just talking about we, before we started the episode, but thanks for taking the time to come out and, and meet with us guys. What we're attempting to do here is tell folks out there in the Amazon world, the consumers that is, about your product, about your brand, where it started, the real story behind it, the family story, and what makes your product different above uh, the quality of what they're seeing out there. Because, you know, uh, Bill and, and Leonard, a lot of times as, as buyers, the only thing we really have to go on in the beginning is price. And especially in today's world, what you uh, pay for is, is not exactly what you're going to get, right? Uh, we used to say, hey, you get what you pay for. But really on Amazon, you see the image, you see the price, and sometimes we fall in the trap and we're buying from an overseas seller who has almost no overhead, who's not paying taxes in the U.S., and who's selling an inferior product. We think we're getting the deal, but really we're just shooting ourselves in the foot. Our goal here on Amazon Seller Brand Stories, uh, Bill and Leonard, is to show folks out there the difference between a real brand, something that's meaningful for not only you and your family, but our economy in the U.S., and how that how that's different than what else is out there on the market. Educate the consumer and make an amazing offer where folks can get to know your brand and uh, maybe use a coupon in your store. So if you want to start, Leonard, tell us about you. Who is Leonard? And uh, who's this handsome gentleman, Bill, here hanging out with you? Hi, everybody. Thanks for inviting me over, Sean and uh, Seth. Uh, it's a uh, pleasure to be uh, with you. Uh, my name is Leonard. I'm uh, one of the uh, owners of Silly Sleek Brand. and um, my life story is somewhat uh, scattered around geographically and, and time zones and, and decades. Uh, came here many years ago from uh, a place that used to be called USSR. Uh, thank God it's no longer uh, exist. Uh, part of that, that, that country uh, I'm from is Odessa, which is part of Ukraine now. That's in the uh, every uh, front page and, and, and there's a lot of drama and tragedy that's taking place. Uh, luckily, uh, myself and my family are safe in, in the best place on, on, in the universe called the United States of America. Uh, to, uh, to bring me to current situation, uh, I, I run several businesses, uh, very uh, niche, very uh, narrow uh, oriented. One was financial investigations. Another one was the, uh, the auditing stuff of, the, uh, of a certain uh, invoice uh, systems and then uh, eventually end up uh, in uh, in banking uh, in lending department both commercial and residential uh, in 2010 or 2012 i believe uh, when uh, our wonderful government decided to expand its powers and they created additional legislative and additional governmental agencies i realized that uh, uh, there's there's more generals than than privates in the army so I pretty much retired myself from that industry, uh, luckily. Uh, and uh, I realized that I, I can't just sit and do nothing. <clears throat> Even volunteering would be uh, somewhat of a part-time. So I looked around and I realized that uh, the e-commerce is becoming very prevalent in, the, um, in our everyday life. So after doing a very substantial due diligence, I uh, jumped in, I dived in into the Amazon ecosystem of course i i watched multiple uh, videos from all uh, proclaimed gurus uh some of them didn't proclaim there some of them were uh uh two of them are present here sean and, and seth uh Thank you. we pretty much started around the same time frame except i was doing it on the shoestring uh meaning i i didn't have the kind of a marketing background uh but i i I'm a good learner. I, I'm, I'm a very persistent person. So it took me a while, uh, made a number of mistakes, uh, selected certain products that were not uh, very much in demand. Uh, competition was very substantial. So I decided to, to move, move out of those products. And uh, again, after a number of uh, 
uh, discussions with, with, with Billy, with uh, another son of mine who is not with us now. Uh, he is he's still around, but he's not uh, involved. In <laughs> yeah, that, that sounded uh, that sounded pretty ominous there for a second. Thank you for clearing that up, Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> this is a family show, doctor. man. Let's keep it let's keep it clean and uh, and happy. Yeah, yeah. He's he's just about to become a doctor, and uh, God bless him. So wow, we're congratulations excited about that as well. Amazing. Uh, so I I investigated different uh, categories and and focused on something that seems to be of, of a, a general appeal to, to everyone, not just the, uh, uh, the techno-oriented uh, people or, or, or entertainment-oriented people. It's a kitchen category. Everybody, most everybody needs to be in the kitchen uh, during their lifetime, even if they just come to boil some water. So I decided that the, uh, the category of kitchen and dining would be uh, the most uh, uh, popular and the most in demand. And then focusing from that point on, I discovered that there uh, the, the cutlery, uh, specifically cutlery, was even though some of the knives and some of the knife sets were very beautiful, they were all pretty much with the standard metal type cold stainless steel appearance. Uh, something came to mind for whatever reason. I remember uh, that there was uh, uh, some kind of a conversations with, with another individual from uh, from the uh, uh, educational institute in, in New York City. Uh, Billy, it's the the one on Seventh Avenue that that uh, creates the the designers and, and all kinds of artistic type of minded people. And then the Rainbow Ward came to mind, and nothing to do with any of the uh, the sexual orientation type. It's just a pure uh, godly creation, a uh, rainbow that that has the, the the combination of colors. And and somebody suggested that the one of the metals, uh, which is titanium, has that those properties if it's properly applied or, or coated over the the other metals. So after, again, numerous of, of trials and, and mistakes, I came up with a product that had that titanium coating on the blades and, and, and that being called a rainbow titanium coated knife set. And this is one of our most popular products, which now grew into different variations. Now there's a starter set with this, those knives. There's additional uh, colors coming out. Uh, so that's pretty much the end from, from the day, almost from the day I was born up until today. So, so banking. So you started in Odessa, uh, USSR, now Odessa, Ukraine, which we all unfortunately know too much about today. Um, went into banking. Um, Billy and you, and maybe your other son, before he we went on to be a doctor, started with silicone products on Amazon. Is that right? And now exactly. I've seen the product. I understand exactly what you're talking about with that rainbow-looking finish <laughs> on metal. It is amazing. It's beautiful. I don't think it adds any utility value, no, no utilitarian value, but it's actually a beautiful product. Uh, something that you would use every single day in the kitchen. I agree with you, uh, Billy and, and Leonard. Uh, Bill, I'm sorry, um, because kitchen product is something that you constantly need. There's always another need. I mean, we're losing knives. Knives are getting broken. Um, my my two boys, we live on this huge farm out here. It seems like I'm always finding knives out in the yard that they're using for all their projects. So love the kitchen category. But here's the problem with the kitchen category, Leonard. There are a lot of sellers overseas who are selling inferior products in that category. And for Amazon sellers out there, like I said in the beginning of this interview, they don't really understand the difference. They don't understand that there's really a human being. There's a, an, an immigrant like yourselves. Thank you and welcome to the United States. I was, uh, I was born here as well as Seth, so we had uh, not had a chance to, um, to, to experience that immigration process. But I know you have, and, and uh, I thank you for coming here, and thank you for adding and contributing to our gross national product with your business. So <laughs> appreciate that, honestly. So. Tell folks out there who are looking at kitchen products, particularly knives, what makes your product superior? I know you have better images and I know you have better description and you have great customer service, but the product itself, why is it different? Why is it better than what else is available out there? Well, I don't want to be uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, outside of modesty norms. Uh, our knives are, uh, serve the, uh, the basic purpose. They are sharp, they're durable, they are reasonably priced. They're beautiful. Uh, we're not selling anybody else's product. This is our trademark, our trademark Silver Slake, which is registered with the United States uh, uh, Copyright and Patent Office. That was one step that we made in order to protect the quality, name, and integrity of our products. So nobody can make uh, uh, a copy of it. Uh, what's what's the word for it? The illegal copy? Counterfeit. <laughs> yeah, knockoff, yeah. whatever. Uh, nobody can, at least in the United States. And uh, 
because we're selling North America, which means Canada, Mexico, US, and we have been selling in Europe and UK for the last several years. Uh, I'm looking into also trademarking that name and that product to protect it in those jurisdictions, those general areas. Now, the difference between our product and other knives is not, is not major. Uh, we are the owners, we are the producers of that, that product. We are American citizens. We're paying taxes, not only federal, state, and local. We're also contributing to Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid. All of the, the required and, and, and statutory obligations, we fulfill them, including that which is VAT in Europe and UK. So we're also contributing certain uh, way to those countries for welfare as well. Uh, the reviews on our products speak for themselves. Uh, we have hundreds and hundreds of close to five star, 4.7 uh, reviews over the last five, six, seven years. Uh, people don't lie. People, when they get our product, they use it for years and, and they still, the knives are still sharp and they're still beautiful. Obviously that validates the quality of our product. Uh, we have a, a specifically designed customer service. Not only that the Amazon dictates a certain uh, time frame within which to answer any inquiry or any contact by a customer. We have our own policy internally. We answer if it's within the, the, the daylight hours, we answer those inquiries immediately. And sometimes people are even shocked because if somebody sends the email and ask a question and get an answer within 10 minutes, it's, it's unheard of almost. That's what we, 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 we hear from people that, how come? We also wow. very uh, giving. Uh, I'm a member now of several uh, nonprofit organizations. I'm not only going to discuss that and I don't want to beat myself on the chest, but this is what we do. We contribute, contribute in addition to our legal obligation. We do that uh, voluntarily, which is the way our beautiful country is structured. We, we help each other. Uh, that's as much as I can brag about us versus. Uh, I, I'd like to tell a little bit of the uh, idea behind what goes into these <coughs> products. Um, yeah. Basically, you have this family structure, which is very interesting. <clears throat> Discussions at family dinners about materials, new product colors, ideas, combinations, uh, working in the living room to make, because the starter set needs to be put together with the sharpener and the magnetic knife rack packaged properly. Uh, each knife is inspected visually. It's cleaned if it's dusty from the warehouse. And all this is done in the living room of our home. So, you know, we might have mom trying to watch TV. She might room? Go to the no, uh, this is my room, living room over there. Oh, but, okay, um, okay. Yeah, I would love you know, to see and, that, that, that area. That's amazing. So it truly oh, is, Bill. Well, it's truly yeah. a family business. And with 600, yes. 700, 900 positive reviews, like nearly five star mm -hmm. across the board, you're doing something right. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, there's the little stories, <clears throat> like when, when we get a random order that needs to be fulfilled by us, not by Amazon. Uh, like one time I found myself in Jersey visiting grandma who's, who's passing out, but, you know, she's blind and almost deaf. And I had to put some uh, FedEx packages in her lap on the way to drive her back to nursing home because I had to stop at, you know, USPS as well. So there's all these little family dynamics that go into it. And we, we've also established with our warehouse uh, another family dynamic, you know, the birth of our one of our uh, contractors' daughters. And we, we share, they, they share uh, ethnic cookies and meals and different – we give wow. gifts on holidays. So it's, it's really cool. And like I said, you know, discussions of material, new product ideas – What's going on in our household? What what do we need? What do we use? And uh, it's it's a very interesting uh, situation, and I, I enjoy it very much. It's it's not corporate, it's it's not nine to five. It's it's like twenty four seven. Um, and, you know, if you you have your phone always, so if the customer contacts you, one of three of us will instantly see that, and uh, we don't have to wait for our our uh, hire to get back to it the next morning. You know, it'll be the middle of the night, and I'll do a quick I'll take care of it. So it's, it's, it's interesting it's really too. Goosebumps as you're telling the story. We're talking about an authentic family business, an American right. family business, U.S. employees, U.S. Mm -hmm. contractors, right? Contributing yeah. to nonprofits. You can make a difference when you purchase from a real brand and a real family brand, just like Silly Slick. I'm looking at your product mm -hmm. over here. I'm already familiar with it. Beautiful product, great reviews. You guys have a great story in there and done in the living room. How many times can you hear that? Like, most uh, a lot of Amazon sellers, unfortunately, are disconnected from their brand. They're just making orders online. They're shipping it directly from their overseas supplier into Amazon's warehouse. As a consumer, guys, the images are beautiful, but you can polish anything online, right? You have a, a genuine product. You have a genuine story. You have a real family backing it up, and you're doing good in the community. And and to me, that's what makes the difference, guys. So, Bill, I'm glad that you finally uh, chimed in there. 
What does this brand, Silislick, mean to you and your family? Um, just creativity, options to work together. Uh, when we're doing a, uh, we're getting a shipment in, we, uh, I'll hire some of my closest friends and we, you know, we'll do, we'll unload 10,000 pounds, uh, sweating, you know, Wait six hours. Back up. You are personally unloading the truck, 10,000 pounds? Every time. So you're not allergic yeah. to box tape and manila envelopes and bubble wrap then, right? Oh, no. And my dad, who uh, is uh, not uh, too young anymore, he is still, he helps unload too. It's really, it's really quite something, but it's, it's like blood, sweat, and tears. You know, you're getting cut, literally blood, sweat, and tears. Uh, and then, you know, you, you got mom, she, she might sit in the U-Haul if the parking situation in New York City isn't that great to avoid the ticket. You know, she, she'll drive their U-Haul sometimes. And, and, you know, she has her own career that she, uh, that she has too, but she, you know, she chips in with little things here and there if we need the shopper as well. So it's very, it's very community. It's, it's, it's like the narrative of it is very, uh, very nice too. And uh, also just, um, I think the um, aesthetic of the brand is something we very much enjoy. Uh, you know, this like, kind of cool uh, things to have like uh, in your travel bag, you might have everything black colored or matte black and similar aesthetics. You know, now you can have that in your kitchen too. And we're trying to bring that a little bit. And uh, we hope, and also an, another word for the rainbow is iridescent. I think that's the correct term for the uh, the effect of light on the metal. It's like the cool yeah, so we want to, from the 80s. Uh, right. I know you might be old enough to remember that. Uh, Bill, how, how young are you, man? Oh, I'm 25. You're 25. Okay, so you don't I'm remember the iridescent Oakleys from the 80s then, but uh, Leonard does. I think I know what I'm talking about. So were you born in the U.S. then? Yeah, born and raised in New York City. All right, great. So you're you're local. Um, so, But you've heard all the stories of, of the Genesis story of your father. Um, working with, in a family business, imagine that, creating a business and a brand, leveraging the platform of Amazon that's available to the masses around the world and actually generating enough revenue to support your family, support your staff, send your son to college to be a doctor. I mean, is that truly the American dream, Seth, or not? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Every time I talk to you, Leonard, I'm always inspired. I didn't even know half of the story that you've shared here today, so thank you so much for sharing that. Um, to wrap up kind of the, the core benefits of your products versus you know, what else you see on online, I would say that number one, it's it looks better, so it's got better aesthetics. It's got probably better durability because you're bringing in the titanium. Um, what else What else would you say is you know the, the core features that set your products apart? Well, we have a, a not a very unique, but definitely not a very common uh, lifetime warranty against any manufactured defect. And we offer either replacement or refund, lifetime. And we didn't have one request yet for wow. the last seven years there's wow. something to it that, that all your products. <clears throat> either a refund or a replacement that's pretty remarkable actually because um you know as i talk you know seth and i talk to amazon sellers from all over the world and it's not very often that someone's offering a lifetime yep. warranty on something that is that will wear out if you use it enough so yep. hats off to you guys that's an amazing and generous thing to do with a lifetime warranty I know that you prepared something amazing for our audience, and I think you said that you have a $5 off coupon that's good forever. And uh, if you want to explain that $5 off coupon, how that works, and how folks can take advantage of that, Leonard. Very simply, on our page, on those products, the, the combination, the, the rainbow knife set, which is five-piece knife set, and or the variation, that knife set with the magnetic wall rock and the sharpener. Uh, when you look at the title, right below title, there is a, a little box, and it says $5 coupon. All you I have see. to do, all the, the buyer needs to do is put a check mark. And that $5 gets automatically deducted from the total price at the shopping cart level. Wow, that's amazing. What a remarkable offer. So $5 off. This is always going to be there. If you're watching this on social media, then you're going to go to Amazon and you're going to search for Silla Slick Knives. Um, it will actually populate because you have such an amazing product, Silla Slick Rainbow Knife Starter Set. That's what happened for me. Um, check the notes below this video if you're watching the video. If you're listening to this on the podcast on the uh, Amazon uh, seller brands or Amazon seller brand story, sorry, um, then you want to check the show notes because we're going to link directly to your product, Leonard, and we're actually going to have uh, the information about the five dollar off coupon. Let me just reiterate: you do not have to use a coupon code like you normally hear about on our podcast. Leonard's got it; he made it uh, brain dead simple for you. Just click save five dollars. The coupon will be deducted from the shopping cart value, and that's amazing. Five dollars for all the listeners here, um, Leonard. This brings up something. How long have you and Bill and, and Silla Slick been a part of Post Purchase Pro now? Probably about th three years uh, with slightly different uh, uh, offers. 
I, I met you several times. The last time I believe it was in Florida. Yep. Uh, anyway, I, I believe in you guys all heartedly because you, you are pros. Uh, the word we, we pro believe is... in you as well. I remember specifically working on a, a YouTube video advertising uh, for your product. That's when I first discovered how beautiful it was. And I think I ordered a couple sets for Christmas gifts. So uh, we appreciate you appreciating us. We love clients like you. You guys are doing an amazing job with your business. You have a great uh, uh, screen. Um, uh, and, and camera uh, appearance here. I think it's going to come off as as exactly what we are. This podcast, these these interviews are 100% natural. You did not have access to these questions before we got on here, right? So you no. didn't have any idea what we were going to ask you. And you guys have an amazing uh, appearance there and, and an amazing uh, an interview. I love the way it went. So $5 off forever. Silla Slick Knives, just search it up on Amazon or click the notes below this video or in the podcast notes. So no promotion code needed. And the link to, to Leonard and, and Bill's family product is in the show notes and below this video in the notes. Seth? Yeah, you guys have an inspirational story. I think a lot of uh, families would like to have a business like yours because it brings you guys closer. You guys are truly, I mean, you can tell with the detail that you guys talk about, unloading the trucks, caring about the, the metals and the durability and the lifetime warranty. You guys really care. And that's what you can't see when you're searching as a shopper on Amazon. You don't understand the people behind it. And there are vastly different um, types of people behind the products. And with Silla Slick, you know what you're getting here. You're getting a real family product. So you guys are an inspiration. So thanks for sharing your story. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. And God bless America. You guys are amazing. We appreciate you so much. And we'll talk to you next thanks time. Thanks for having us. Thank you. See you guys. So long.